Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about putting together a concept art portfolio. I see tons of beginner portfolios, and most of them share a common factor. They lack diagrams and details. Because one shot of an object or an environment like this one is nice, but giving extra details and context is extremely helpful for your coworkers when you're working in a video game studio. Because while I worked on this for hours, I imagined more than what I'm showing here in the frame. In a sense, this is just a tiny window into sort of a larger imaginary environment that's inside of my head. But when another artist looks at it, they can't read my mind. They don't know all that extra stuff. Well, in a video game studio, a painting like this would just be the tip of the iceberg. The artist would not be able to take this single painting and make a 3D model of the entire environment. It'd be followed up by prop designs and lighting studies and tons of other smaller associated designs. So to empower this image, I've gone ahead and created this shot, which shows the space from a different angle. And in this case, it also happens to be under construction, which gives a bigger context to this environment. Here's another shot that is a detailed design from one of the interior rooms. And then along with the room itself, I've gone ahead and included orthographic views. And you could think of these as blueprints to help explain how it fits into the larger landscape. Because one of these drawings is nice, but once an artist can look at three or four different drawings, then they get a broader picture and can sort of extrapolate in their own imagination. And sure, these are just personal paintings, but the same exact stuff happens on the job. So here are some older paintings that I've made working on Despicable Me, the game, as well as Madagascar 3, the game. And honestly, this is the kind of stuff that's the bread and butter of a concept artist's job. Prop designs, buildings, detail sheets. The problem, though, is that most beginners don't know the importance of this sort of work. So if you want to get a job as a concept artist, prove that you can think of the bigger picture. That you can think of how all these moving parts combine into an interactive space of a video game. So include extra views of your designs. Don't hesitate to add extra context or little instructions of how things operate. Remember, you're designing entire worlds from a blank canvas as a concept artist. And what that means is there's a lot of doorknobs and wall panels to be drawn. It's not all about massive establishing shots. So make sure that your portfolio recognizes that fact. And if you want an example of how to fit these diagrams into your own workflow, you should make sure to check out the upcoming premium series called Vehicle Design from Start to Finish, which is coming to the Control Paint store on Friday, December 21st. And as always, thanks for coming to the site, guys.